One of my favourite guests of all time ever in the history of this show, the lovely <laughs> Olivia Munn, everybody. to see you. I Me haven't too. seen you in forever. It's been... Feels like forever. Every you, minute apart feels like forever. Well, you know, it, it tears me apart though when you're not here because when you come out and you wear exactly the same clothes as you had on last time. No, this is actually, um, it's more of an ivory. The other one was more of a gray. Oh. <laughs> Do you enjoy the song Ebony and Ivory? Um, actually, I don't really. Oh. I think it was overplayed. I really don't. Oh, we can't be friends anymore. What? No, Do you love it that much? No, I, I liked it a little bit. I like the, you know, piano. Keyboard, oh lord. Huh? I like that song. Come sail away, come sail away, come sail away with me. <laughs> I don't think I don't think I know that song. I thought we knew each other. Um, it, um. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, no, no, it's okay. Wait, all right. do you know? Boom, 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 boom. Tell me what you gonna do when there ain't nowhere to run when judgment comes for you. <laughs> I'll give it up for Wally. Easy sees Uncle Charlie. Little pussy cuz. Uh -uh. <laughs> you know when you mentioned. No, 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 no. I got one. Zim bamboo, zamalamala boo. There's freedom in Jesus Christ. Do you know that one? <laughs> um, our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above. All right, here's one. Here's one. This is one that I grew up with going to uh, school in Scotland, right? In the bleak midwinter. They made us sing that, and then they beat us and made us work up chimneys. When um, I was in a military family, so when... We, you were in a military family? My ex-stepfather was Air Force, and we... Right. Yes. And um, we, we lived in Utah once, and in, in kindergarten, my teacher, every day we had to, we had to sing the, the Utah anthem, but then also we had to follow that up with... I believe the children are our future. Teach them well and they will find a way. Oh. Your born ruler to possess inside. Yes! Give them a chance. I think you might love it. You, you went gospel on oh, me. Oh, yeah. Were... When it's time to testify, I don't hold back, I tell you. You gave it back to the maker. How have you been? I've been really great. You know, you were talking about um, Will Shatner. Unfortunately, you're right, couldn't be here. Yeah. You know, the first time I ever met William Shatner, you know what he said to me? He said, um, well, I was, he's like, hi, nice to meet you. And then he turned to my friend and he goes, you know, if she were an escort, she'd be an expensive one. <laughs> true, my, swear to, yeah. You know, I, I had a very similar thought about you when I first met you. <laughs> I thought if she were an escort, I can't afford her, I thought. <laughs> chose to take it as a compliment. It is a great compliment. It's the highest compliment Shatner can give. <laughs> it's the number one Shatner compliment. He, love, he loves <laughs> things. <laughs> can uh, I ask you a question? Please. What's the, uh, what's the perfume you're wearing? I, um, it's a, it's a two sprays that I put together and I actually don't tell people what it is. Okay, okay. My, um, but it's a, it's a flower and it's a, a fruit and I put them together. It's, it's an intoxication which leaves me breathless is what it is. <laughs> if you were to describe it, how would you describe it? I always ask people. If it was, uh, I would think, if I smelled that, I'd go, if that smell is on a prostitute, <laughs> it would be an expensive prostitute. <laughs> no, it's, it's a lovely, it's a very nice smell. You know what it is? It's kind of... Oh, God. It's, um, it's probably best if I move on to a different area. Well, you're here. You're here in L.A. Do you like L.A. more well, than well, New Sorry, York? I drifted there for a bit. What'd you say? But you're, you're here in L.A. Do you like L.A. more yeah, than New York now? No, I'm kind of... Uh, this is, you know, it's uh, chicken and fish. It's uh, apples and pears. It's, um, you know, men, sex with men or sex with ladies. It's, you know... I'm European originally. <laughs> I guess I it's okay. I, no, I don't. It's do not that. cheating if it's in the. Tutti frutti. <laughs> it's the second night of. America is watching. Should, should I just leave? No, no, you're fine. <laughs> and actually, to be fair, that's true. <laughs> no, it's not.
No, it, well, it depends. <laughs> I don't know. Do you uh, do you have um, do you have a husband or a boyfriend or something? Uh, nope. Oh. No, nobody loves me. Oh, I don't think that's true. I think you'd pr knock it off. <laughs> I, I, I think that perhaps uh, you're very picky. Is that what it is? Well, um, no, I think that the, the recent guys I've dated, I think that uh, when you see their behavior, you realize I'm not so picky because <laughs> they kind of turn into jerks. And you're like, oh, I guess I like jerks. Really? Yeah, they, what, what I find is that um, they're awesome the first date, second date, and by the third date, there's just like a, they're just not nice they're not cool and a lot of them want me to like not work anymore which i actually would stop. by the third date they want you to not work <laughs> wanted me um he told me first day that he's ready to have kids like n like now it's a little needy yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. and my uterus just shriveled yeah, up yeah. and ran away it's uterus not you to you <laughs> No, it's not my joke. It's not my joke. It's not my joke. I saw it in The Simpsons. It's not my joke. <laughs> but I like that it, it may not be your joke, but it's something that seems like it's very, like, a very powerful statement for you. <laughs> <laughs> very empowering. No, no, I don't mean that. A little bit. I mean it a little bit. All right. <laughs> No, so what, he wanted to have babies on the first day. Maybe well, he just said he's ready to, for a relationship and all that right away. And I think that what's frustrating is like when you date. Sometimes we, we guys think that just because you're the girl and like just because I go on a date with you or, or kiss you or have sex with you that all of a sudden I want to be with you forever because. I just faint. But guys, think I just, the thing is that sometimes you're the girl and I'm the guy. That's just how it is sometimes. Like I don't really want it. <laughs> Sometimes I just need you to, sometimes you just want them to be quiet. Be like, Shh, stop talking so much. Look, be pretty. I love you. <laughs> you did it to me, too. Ah. You did it. You made me needy. Oh. I think what happens is met with that, certain men will go, what, what the hell? How do I behave here? Um, well, what they end up doing is they try to make me feel bad about myself instead like you know try to put you down so then in the end they're like oh i need you to make me feel better and i just go oh mm -mm, mm. I'm not playing that game yeah yeah well I spotted will not. i will yeah not. we get together at guy clubs and you know <laughs> you guys all men talk aren't that complicated we don't think no. of that We're guys just like... are more guys are more complicated <laughs> sorry i was pointing <laughs> like guys are guys are more manipulative than people think and uh, and and i think this i think all guys are can't wait to have a girlfriend because <laughs> they really really love to have the girl that's there and have the best friend and and guys are more needy and they become they start to play these games and they're just like I did, I'm the one who just throws my clubs down and walk away I'm like I don't want to play I won't play you're the most awesome girl in the world <laughs> well you shouldn't feel bad about yourself at all you're oh, awesome oh oh, oh, oh I, I don't just at night when I'm alone <laughs> yeah I know I get that feeling too so. <laughs> All right, so listen, we're out of time. What do you fancy? Awkward pause, mouth organ, or glittery ball? Go, or or uh, win big cash prize? Um, um, awkward pause. Please. Awkward pause, you say, eh? Well, uh, care to add a subtext? Um, do you want me to add it, or you, would you like to add it? Yeah, it's your awkward pause. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, the subtext would be... Um, 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 oh, I, the, the no, it's pressure. great you've led us into the awkward pause by thinking about the subject. Um, um, I got so nervous thinking that, about that, That's good, that's good. That's uh, no, no, subtext, are, yes. Are you, are you doing the subtext? Is this like a double bluff? <laughs> Man, that, because that is uh -oh. genius. If you were doing that, that's, that's crazy good. No, I... I, I, I get weird, like, I can be like this, and all of a sudden when somebody asks me to say one specific thing, I can't All right, that's now. okay. I'll add an awkward pause, uh, subtext. Um, but I, my go-to subtext, which is, I'm trying to sneak a look at your breasts, and you catch me. Okay. <laughs> I don't care, I saw him. Let me in mind, everyone.